हेलो फ्रेंड्स वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल फार्मा ज्ञान एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ई यू जी एम पी एन एक्सर वन मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ स्टेराइल मेडिसिनल प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फार्मा ज्ञान लेट्स कंटिन्यू द वीडियो सो ई यू जी एम पी एन एक्सर वन मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ स्टेराइल मेडिसिनल प्रोडक्ट्स The rules governing medicinal products in the European Union, Volume Four, EU Guidelines for Good Manufacturing Practices for Medicinal Products for Human and Veterinary Use. In this video series, we will discuss a number of videos or a number of topics which covers the complete EU GMP and Exer One. And in this video, we will discuss about scope. So, what are the scopes of this guideline? EU GMP and Exer One, and in our upcoming videos, we will discuss the rest parts of the EU GMP and Exer One. So, EU GMP and Exer One, manufacture of sterile medicinal products, Part One of Eleven. Part One is scope. So, in scope, what about the scope, or what is the scope of EU GMP and Exer One? The manufacture of sterile medicinal products covers a wide range of sterile product types, active substances, excipients, primary packaging material, and finished doses forms. Packed size single unit to multiple units. Process from highly automated systems to manual processes and technologies. Example: biotechnology, classical small molecule manufacturing systems, and closed systems. This annex provides general guidance that should be used in design and control of facilities, equipment, systems, and procedures used for the manufacture of all the sterile products, applying the principles of quality risk management (QRM) to ensure that microbial, particulate, and endotoxin pyrogen contamination is prevented in the final product. QRM applies to this document in its entirety and will not normally be referred to in specific paragraphs. Where specific limits or frequencies or ranges are specified, these should be considered as minimum requirement. So, generally in guidance documents, there is a specifications or limits are described. Which are the minimum requirements of the guidance or regulatories? They are stated due to historical regulatory experience of the issues that have been identified and have impacted the safety of patients. The intent of the Annex One is to provide guidance for manufacture of sterile products. So generally, uh, the intent or scope of this Annex One guidance is for only sterile products. However, some of the principles and guidance, such as contamination control strategy, design of premises, clean room classification, qualification, validation, monitoring, and personal governing, may be used to support the manufacturer manufacture of other products that are not intended to be sterile, such as certain liquids, creams, ointments, and low bioburden biological intermediates. But where the control and reduction of microbiology microbial particulate and endotoxin pyrogen contamination is considered important where a manufacturer elects to apply guidance herein to non sterile products the manufacturer should clearly document which principles have been applied and acknowledge that compliance with those principles should be demonstrated what's in our next video so in Part two of eleven, we will discuss about the principles of uh, EU GMP and Exer one, in which what is stated for principles. So reference guideline is EU GMP and Exer one manufacture of sterile medicinal products. The rules governing medicinal products in the European Union, Volume four, EU guidelines for food, for good manufacturing practices for medicinal products, for human and veterinary use. So thanks for watching Pharma Gyan please don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel Pharma Gyan